This episode is brought to you by Do Big Things, baby. Do Big Things is a conference my buddy and I are putting on together here in South Florida, November 2nd through the 4th. You got to check it out. Go to dobigthings.net. It's all about inspiring entrepreneurs, sales professionals, folks like you and me, visionaries, to go out and take actions on our big things. We all have a big dream, right? Some kind of big goal or ambition that we want to accomplish. Our goal is to get you with the right folks to get you pumped and the knowledge, education, and steps needed to put that big dream into action. Go to dobigthings.net to learn more. Would love to have you join us here in South Florida, baby. Each week, I get the opportunity to meet with a group of sales professionals. Some of them are new to sales. Some of them are seasoned sales professionals. Some of them are entrepreneur, but it's called TSC Hustlers League. And I get an opportunity to chat with them, to give a training session, and to bring on some guests every once in a while. We always have fun. You're going to love this particular episode. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist, and I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode of TSC Hustlers League, baby, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about a power of three. You know, these episodes are so awesome. I wish I could play the whole session. Obviously, we can't. So this week, I'm particularly going to give you a longer session, but I'm going to break it up into two. So episode number 385 today and episode number 390 next week, you'll get part two of it. So part one today, part two next week. It's going to be fun. We're going to talk a little bit more about the power of three today, how we can use that when we're meeting with our prospect, not to complicate things. And then next week, we're going to talk a little bit about how you discover those powerful three things that separate you from your competitors. It's going to be fun. But before we dive into all that great stuff, you know your boy has to give some shout outs, right? I want to give a huge shout out this week to Motivational Juice. Great job, guys. Miss Cotton, thank you so much for connecting. Kendall, Kendall, brother, congratulations on all the great things you're doing. And you're seeing Miss Riviera, congrats on for the great things you're doing as well. Jim Collison, wish you great success. Sean McGinnon, and also Stacey Hank, thank you guys so much for connecting with me. And I wish you great success as you are out there hustling. If you'd like to connect with me like these fine folks, you can find me on Twitter, Donald C. Kelly. You can find me on LinkedIn, Donald C. Kelly. You can also find me on Instagram, Donald C. Kelly. Either one of these places, I'd love to connect with you, learn about you, what you're doing, some of the challenges you're going through, some of the success you're seeing. You get a chance to hear me all the time. I want to hear you for once. So feel free to connect with me and let's connect. We also have a private group as well, uh, both on Facebook and LinkedIn. Shh. It's called the Sales Evangelizers. Just kidding. Feel free to share it with anyone you know. But Sales Evangelizers is a community, again, for us to come together with other sellers, other entrepreneurs, other uh, hustlers. And we can ask questions related to sales or where we can share strategies, things that are working for us, things that are not working and get insights. So check it out. The Sales Evangelizers, both on Facebook and on LinkedIn. Again, I won't take up much more time. We have a great episode. As I always mention, the audio, these are webinar, right? So the audio is not as rich as with our podcast episode. So please forgive a brother, but the content I promise you is great. So forgive us about that. My DJ, my MC, my producer, my boy who edits all of our episodes. He's going to make it sound great. So take us away, brother. So the power of three, you know, this is something that is often overlooked when it comes to sales. We talked about what you did last week. But the power of three and the concept behind this is not to overcomplicate things to your prospect. There are several studies done and it shows that the best number of claims you should share with a potential prospect to maximize the impact of your story is three. So what I mean by that, if I was to say, we can help you do one, two, three, four, five, then the impact isn't there. But if I can say, I can help you do one, two, and three, it makes it a little bit more believable to the prospects. And the study just shows this to be true too. It said that customers know, if customers know that the message is coming from a source with a persuasive motive, then the option optimal number of claims is three. When you get to four, it gets to a tipping point where people start to become skeptical. They don't know if they can believe you. It's just, it it makes it that like, it just makes it, it complicates it too. And it it pushes the prospect to the indecision. And that's what we don't want people to get to. We get them to the point where we, you know, they're like, okay, well, this is a lot for me to think it over. I have to go and think, I have to go and talk, I have to go analyze and see which one just get paralyzed by all the different options. Give them the simplest as possible. So when it comes to our claims or when it comes to what we can do, it makes it more impactful to our prospects when we can explain to them several things as opposed to tons of things. 
And because some of the things that will go through your prospect mind, first of all, is this going to be too complex for me? And you don't want them to think that. Or will we really use all of these? Or am I paying for things I really don't need? You know what I mean? So think about the product, the way you have it, even on a website, like how are you presenting your things on a website? Do you have a bunch of different options? Now, options aren't bad. Options are great. It's important to have options. But the concept, again, is not to give too many options where it forces them to get paralyzed or, you know, it's just a decision paralysis. You want to make sure that they give them some options that are key, that are effective, that are, you know, educated options, and that they make it simple for them to choose. Does that work for features as well, or just options? Ding, ding, ding. You're going exactly where we're going to head to today. In the next little part, I'm going to talk exactly about that. So features, benefits, all of that jazz. Well, this is more, and then this is like the claim to your prospect. You're like, you know, if, I, if you can recognize, say, for instance, I always go to the water bottles, but let's just go to a, you know, something else, like a, let's say a computer. You know, we need to get new computers for my company. And the main reason why I need to get a new computer is I need computers that are fast and that my team can take as they travel. And, you know, they're so portable and that it's going to be it just like I, I just need a very, very simple thing. They're going to mainly do on, use online tools to get access to documents and stuff like that. So knowing that and knowing that I need that and the why I need it, because if I don't have those computers, my team can't work, they can't manage, and then I won't make any money. So because I can't close deals if projects aren't getting done. So knowing that, would you go and tell me all of the benefits about uh, all of the RAM, all of the gigs, all of the storage, all of that, how you know, durable it could be? You, know, you, you would look at all of these things and figure out which one of the ones make the most sense for this particular challenge of this particular prospect. So he needs something portable. I'm not going to talk about the, desk, the fact that it can be a desktop monitor. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need the fact that it can, it can mount. He just wants to be able to have something his team can travel with. He needs something that's just basically internet. You know, he doesn't necessarily need to do a lot of storage. I don't need to complicate him with all of that. If I continue to list a ton of these features, it's going to be like on the left-hand side. I'm going to complicate or muddy up the water when in actuality it has nothing to deal with the core challenge of my prospects. If I can identify the core challenge, then I can focus on three things that I know that I can do that's going to connect to his core concept. And the three things, if there's some of those three things that I can identify are going to present to him unknown things that he doesn't, things that he doesn't know about yet. For instance, maybe I have something that can share that that maybe I, maybe I have something that, that can talk about your team doesn't even really need a computer because as I dig deeper, I find out that they're doing a lot of online tools. And then I say, well, it sounds like what they're doing is just dragging and dropping a lot and that they don't need a computer. Would it be cheaper for you or easier for your company to have a tablet? I'm just throwing, you know, again, another little thought. So then it's like, huh, I didn't think about that, the unknown. And you can maybe share the study that tablets are outlasting durability of computers. So you're going to have to get a new computer for your team in two years when in actuality a tablet is going to last for four years, something that you didn't know. So the durability and the fact that it's something your team is going to be traveling with, I just presented value to you, which is going to save you an extra, you know, $500 $500 because computers are going out outdated every two years. But then I recognize that there's something that you don't know that you should know. And now I presented that in the sense of giving you value. The competitor is going to say, yeah, we have cheaper computers than Donald. His computers, we have computers that are, you know, 10, you know, they're, 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 they're lightning speed. We have pretty colors that they have a bunch of RAMs, a bunch of, you know, the CPUs. And you can, uh, you can change the graphics on the background. You can put a picture of your family back there. You know, when you're traveling, you can put pictures of your family. You can, you can have a ton of different apps open at the same exact time. You know, the guy doesn't care about all of that. He just wants to get this simple job done. So who do you think he'll pay attention to? The one that presents value as opposed to the one that just gives off, rattle off a bunch of features. I love these sessions and I wish they could go longer so you get a chance to, you know, hear some more of the dynamics and some of the things that people ask, some of the challenges they're going through and to hear about some of the success people are seeing. But if you'd like to become a member and check out TSC Hustlers League, we're actually doing a little bit of change. We're going to a semester approach with the program. So now each semester for three months, we're going to focus on a particular topic. You'll get a syllabus when you join, 
and you can get an opportunity to follow along and come on each week as we do a webinar training and uh, get an opportunity to mesh with some of the other members to get the accountability and to help you get your sales to another level. When I joined a program like this, that's what made my sales take off. I mean, I got some training, but the fact that I was able to implement that and to have people that kept me accountable and to sharpen my sword, so to speak, you know, iron sharpen iron, that's what helped me to catapult my sales success. So I would highly recommend you check it out. Even if it's not with us, find a program that you can get into. But if you want to learn more, go to thesalesevangelist.com forward slash the word episode number 385. Again, thesalesevangelist.com forward slash the word episode number 385 to learn more about TSC Hustlers League and how you can become a member. It's phenomenal. And I would love to have you join. All in all, I want you to be successful and I want you to be happy. But most importantly, I want you to go out and do big things. 